So after the Metroid Prime remaster or remake on Nintendo Switch, it obviously has sparked up a lot of rumors whether or not we're going to end up getting Metroid Prime 2 and 3 have a full remaster as well. And I actually ended up having somebody come into my stream the other day, and I'm not trying to name names or call this person out or anything, but they started saying, oh dude, did you know that Prime 2 and 3 are getting a remaster? And I inquired, where did you hear this? That sounds awesome. And then they ended up telling me, oh yeah, just go and listen to this random YouTuber who talked about it. And this misinformation of talking about a rumor as if it's factual is something that just genuinely bothers me. It's predatorial and it's clickbait as hell just like all the game journalist websites. So I wanted to make this video, most of all to save your time and keep you away from the 20 minute long rant videos that are just speculating and spreading false rumors. I ended up doing some digging and the original rumor was someone said we were gonna be getting a Metroid Prime remaster and that same person said that we were going to be getting Prime 2 and 3 as a port on the Switch. But game journalists can't help themselves and so they just take that and say, oh well, they're gonna be remasters on the Switch. and then. And YouTubers end up taking that garbage from journalists and then they spread it as if it's truth. And the thing that I personally find so frustrating about these rumors is that for some reason, people continually keep getting away with it. Like they're spreading a lot of copium and 99% of their time, they're absolutely wrong. But for some reason, nobody seems to find fault with what they've said. The funny thing is that these videos that are spreading these false rumors are also going to end up getting more views than this random video. Like, let's not forget a couple years ago, these same people and journalists were saying that, oh, we're getting a Switch Pro this year, 100%. That was like two or three years ago, dude. Like the part that I find so frustrating about all of this is that people just end up regurgitating information from game journalists and game journalists we already all know are a joke. But then the problem is that people will end up watching this trash and then they start spreading these false rumors as well. Now I'm not trying to be on like a war path to destroy all of the copium and hope that we have in order to end up getting some of our beloved franchises onto more modern consoles or anything. My argument is just the lack of logic that these people use. Like the funny thing is that for a Nintendo Switch Pro, I think that it's 100% going to happen because there's a lot of clues that lead to that theory. Like the developers of Genshin Impact a couple years ago said that they wanted to get Genshin on the Nintendo Switch, but they were waiting for the Nintendo upgraded console. This was actually an insider information and behind the scenes interview. It wasn't something that was meant to be public. And for some reason, nobody seemed to take that little tidbit of of information of them basically confirming that a new Switch was on the way. To top that off, Nintendo also had an interview a couple years back that said they weren't looking at developing a new console yet because of the chip shortage. Now, the last clue for me personally and why I speculate that we will see a Switch Pro this year, probably in the next couple months, is because Zelda is coming out and Zelda is always a system seller. Does this mean that I'm right? No, does it mean that I'm using insider information to come up with a crafted theory? Yes, but it's still all guesswork. And the point that I'm getting at is that's me using logic from multiple sources, not just taking some rumor from some random tweet. I don't know, I guess what I find so annoying about this whole situation is just how the internet has slowly started to shift into putting way too much merit onto these rumors. Like these YouTubers are literally lying to you for the sake of views. It's nothing new and it's definitely not going away, but I guess as a Nintendo fan, it irritates me. I feel like these people are trying to take advantage of people's copium. So I just wanted a video to break down the truth. 